and the omnibus. So I was forced into the arches when I was a child. And look, it's come back to bite me later on. I'm awash with the stuff. The Archers is the world's longest running radio show, with more than 15,000 episodes broadcast. Despite being a rural flavour show, The Archers is recorded in the heart of the UK's second largest city, Birmingham. You're listening to Wednesday's episode of The Archers from BBC Radio 4. <laughs> So you're pleased you took my advice. You wouldn't have rather done it your way. What way is that? Oh yeah, like back in the good old days when men were men and everything could be solved with fisticuffs. Uh, yes, yes, all right. You couldn't stand up for yourself. Well, bad luck. Yeah, very funny. Well, isn't that the Vince Casey anti-bullying policy? Carry on like that. I might lodge a complaint against you. <laughs> I've already said I'm pleased with how it turned out. It didn't blow the issue out of proportion. Everything got settled without a lot of silly fuss. Oh, is that what it was? A load of silly fuss? Oh, I didn't know what I mean. Well, I mean, the tea room's busy. Can you see anywhere to park? Over there, maybe? See, all's well that ends well. Freddy's not going to get any more bother. Ah. Freddy. Now, Elizabeth, the thing is... Why didn't you tell me? You never said he was the one being bullied. <sighs> Alistair and Denise. Can you believe it, Fallon? Who'd have thought? Oh, I don't know. I've heard of weirder affairs. Yeah, sure. With Jean Harvey and Derek Fletcher for a start. Yeah, but to be carrying it on right under Paul's nose. It's no wonder he's so upset. Mum said he laid into Alistair right there in the middle of the shop. Uh, Emma, has Table 15 outside got their drinks? Yeah, yeah, i just taken them. You know, Joy saw Denise and her husband arguing the other day. No. Yeah, right outside, on the green. Really? What's interesting, though, is that Jazzo was there too. Got really shirty with Auntie Tracy when she asked him about it. Told her to keep her nose out. Mum reckons he must have known. Well, he's got a point. It is none of our business. Yeah, makes sense, though, doesn't it? Wonder who else knew before Paul. Hiya. Ah, Pip, hi. How are you? I'm OK. But have you got a minute? Sure. Hi, Emma. Hi, yeah. I, um, I've had another email from Natasha. I know you said you'd spoken to her, Fallon. Yeah, I did. We've had several conversations. Well, I'm, I'm not sure how much she's taken on board. Oh, is this to do with the hemp party? That's right. I mean, now she has cut back on some things. Although, since then, she sent me another message about a wedding advent calendar. Whatever that is. Okay. What's really freaking me out, though, is that she's saying she's already bought loads of stuff, like the robes and the eye masks. Oh, dear. Um, because they're personalised, she can't send them back. Pip, I completely get where you're coming from. I'll speak to Natasha again. When? Today? Oh. She's not around today. She, she's visiting one of her growers in Herefordshire. Well, I can speak to her tomorrow, though. But the thing is, we're already massively over budget. Now, I'm worried she'll order more stuff before then. It, it's all got so much bigger than we planned. Could always ring her, couldn't you, Fallon? Huh? Oh, would you? I mean, that would be amazing. When I talk to her, she doesn't seem to listen. Sure, I, I can do that. Um, Emma, would you mind watching the counter? Oh, if no one needs serving. Well, then maybe you could see if there are any tables that need clearing. Uh, uh, I'll go and get my phone. Confidentiality? Oh, you're not serious. It wasn't for me to tell you. Freddy's my son, Vince. Of course you should have told me. I'm sorry. Is that what the atmosphere on Friday was all about? Look, it doesn't make any difference now, anyhow. No difference? Well, I handled it the way you suggested. It makes the world of difference. If I'd known it was Freddy being bullied, I'd have... Well? What? Well, I'd have wanted to know exactly what these bullies had been doing to him. And you kept claiming it wasn't that bad. Well, it wasn't. It can't have been nothing. Freddy's hardly wet behind the ears. I told you, it was horseplay. Horseplay? Yes. And as I said before, what exactly do you mean by horseplay? Well... Elizabeth, Vince, how fortuitous to see you. Oh. Linda, what brings you to Bridge Farm? Uh, we, um, We've both got the day off. Yeah, we figured we'd make the most of it, treat ourselves to afternoon tea. Why not indeed? Now... I'm sure you will doubtless have heard about this year's village fate um, um, and the cost of living theme. No? Nope. Oh, dear. 
This is why it's so vital I continue to lend Joy my support. One can't expect a novice to run the whole thing on their own. It's not just Joy, is it? I mean, there's still a committee, isn't there? Mm? Uh, yes, yes, and they're all marvellous. There is a certain deficit of experience, though, like my ability to network with local business leaders, such as yourself, Vince. Me? Yes. I was rather hoping we might discuss the possibility of a beneficial arrangement between Casey Meats and the Fate. Uh, yeah, always happy to hear a proposal. Oh, marvellous. In that case, I think I might go and grab a table. What? It's fine, Vince. Linda wants a business leader. But Elizabeth... I'm clearly superfluous. I promise I won't keep him long. No, 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 you take your time. I'm in no rush. Yeah, all right, but I'm no, Really, you can find me when you're ready, OK? Well, well hang on, Natasha. L uh, let me check with Pip. Mm. Um, would you be willing to provide a couple of written testimonials, too? Mm, yeah, sure. Don't see why not. Oh, uh... She says that's fine. Uh, so, just to be clear, we're going to go back to my original quote and all the add-ons and extras, they're free of charge. <laughs> right. <laughs> okay. Uh, no, 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 of course. Uh, well, I'll catch you tomorrow then. All right, bye. <laughs> well, <laughs> I weren't expecting that. No, me neither. How did you do that? I'm not sure. I guess Natasha's really keen to promote the business. Oh, yeah, I guess she is. Are you all right with it, though? I mean, having loads of glossy photographs taken when all you want to do is relax and let loose? I mean, that ain't quite the hen weekend you were after. Well, only because we didn't have the money for it. I mean, this is in incredible, though. Really? Well, wait until I tell Lottie. She's been miffed at me for being such a Scrooge. <laughs> She's going to go wild. Well, double check with the others anyway. Ooh. They might not all be so chuffed. Oh, no, Fallon, honestly, the only person who might not like it is Stella. And she doesn't have to be in the pictures. Oh, <laughs> Besides, we're supporting your new enterprise. I'm, I'm more than happy to help. It's not my enterprise, it's Natasha's. Oh. But that's really kind of you. Mm -hmm. um, now all we've got to do is make sure it's a success. Oh, I do so love it when a plan comes together. I'm only too happy to help. And I'm sure Ian will be delighted too. I've already tasked him with devising delicious budget recipes he can demonstrate at the fete. Well, like I say, I can supply him with all the cheap cuts he needs. Skirt, flank, chuck and blade. Oh, that sounds fabulous. Scrag and middle neck, pork cheek, pork knuckle, um, shutters, marrow, tripe. Well, I'll leave you two to liaise. <laughs> And obviously, we'll make sure that the name Casey Meat is used prominently when we're promoting the event. When is the fight again? Ah, uh, well, it's had to be moved. Another little slip-up, I'm afraid. It was on the same day as the Women's Institute coach trip to Cheltenham, and we couldn't have that. I mean, what would the fate be without the WIT tent? Uh, what indeed? So it will now be on August the 25th. 25th? That date rings a bell. Oh, let me check my diary. Of course. But not that it matters hugely. I can always send someone on my behalf. Freddie, perhaps. He could be in commie's chef. Oh, do you think so? That will be splendid. What a fantastic idea. Ah, uh, yeah, that's right. My Shelley's dragging me to the cantering on bash at the stables. When? O on that Sunday? Oh, no, 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 that can't be right. Well, like I say, I'll see if Freddie can do it. But that's impossible, Vince. They can't be on the same day. Well, that's the date I've got here. No, no, I, I mean, they mustn't be. Ambridge isn't big enough for two events. They'll cannibalise each other. Oh, why on earth didn't anyone tell me? Oh, Hilda, shoo. <laughs> Sorry, Elizabeth. Oh, no, no. That wretched cat. She deliberately sits around looking friendly, letting the kids get close to her, and then she goes for them. Has she got something on her face? Huh? She looked like she'd hurt herself. Oh, that's ticks. They've had a hell of a time trying to get them off her. Saw Tom chasing her around the yard the other day with no great effect. So, what do you reckon Shula will make of it then? Shula, um... Bank Denise and Alistair. Oh. I guess if you'd only just heard, news won't have travelled to her yet. I'm not sure. Is it only adultery if you're the one that's married? Or is I, it both people? I don't think it matters. Well, in any case, I can't imagine Shula will approve. No. Well, there you are. I was looking for you inside. Ah, I thought it was nicer out here. Have you ordered? Uh, not yet, no. Um, we'll order at the county, yeah? Yeah, OK. Uh, one of us will be through in a minute. Oh, right, yeah, of course. <laughs> when you're ready. 
Everything all right? Mm, fine. Uh, just some surprising news. Uh, so, are you going to tell me what's really been going on with Freddy now? Oh. Well, it was more than just horseplay, wasn't it? No, honestly. It was mostly just a lot of name-calling, a few shoves. One of the lads put a pig snout in Freddy's jacket pocket. A pig snout? But that's as bad as it got. And you didn't immediately haul them in? You should have at least given them a formal warning. Why do you think I was looking at our disciplinary policy? But then you suggested how to deal with it informally. Well, I didn't know about the pig snout. And besides, that's how Freddy wanted it handled. Yeah, he probably wasn't sure you'd stand up for him if he made it official. It wasn't like that. He was concerned about getting anyone into trouble. Yeah, because he was scared. No, because his heart's in the right place. And he understood they were just upset about their mate getting fired. That's what it was to do with, the theft from the abattoir. So Freddy was getting bullied because he helped catch a thief? And he stood up for him and all. By the end of the meeting, Antonio could see he'd only tried to do right by everyone. Look, I've pulled Freddy up before about what I thought was curry in favour with the staff. But when I heard him talking to Antonio, well, well, let's put it this way. Antonio shook his hand. Trust me, your boy can hold his own. But you're sure he's not going to keep getting bullied? I mean, it's definitely stopped. Elizabeth, the meeting did everything you said it would. That's what you wanted, isn't it? Thanks again, Fallon. No worries, I'll be in touch soon. <laughs> wow, no wonder Pip's happy. How much do you reckon it's costing Natasha to comp all that stuff? Way more than a couple of hundred quid is my guess. <laughs> Still, I suppose if it brings in more bookings, you could be doing hen parties all the time. Mm. Hi, what's up? You've always loved doing big events. Well, yeah, I know, but that was back when it was my business. I mean, I only agreed to do the hen party because Chelsea talked me into it. And now it's ballooned into this enormous new thing. I just... What? I was... There's nothing. I, I chose to take the manager's job, but I... I didn't have to bottle it. I I could have tried to set up again on my own. Fallon, you didn't bottle it. We all need to earn a living. I know. I know. But look at you, though. You're starting your tree surgery business. It's so brave of you. I, I'm, I'm in awe. I'm still working here, and I? I haven't burnt my bridges yet. <laughs> at least you know where you're heading. Where am I going? Nowhere. That's where. Do you think maybe... It's got something to do with with the accident and what happened afterwards. No, no, me and Harrison are fine now. No, I know. Really, I, I just feel like I'm going to be doing all this work for Natasha and Tom and their business. I mean, where do I come in all that? What's in it for me? Well, no, I don't know all the details, but they're looking for someone to run the cafe at the new EV charging station. Mum was going on about a link that's come up on the website. Yeah, I know. I got an email. You did? Yeah. I signed up for updates. Right. Well, then, maybe you should really consider it. I mean, ain't like you couldn't still set up on your own. You don't have to stay here. No. Uh, yep, that's uh, the ball bar. That's this one? Yep, that's... I mean, Hayley so wanted to be in their own place when their baby came. It's uh, due in two months. Uh, not much chance of that now. No. I mean, it would have been a stretch for them financially, mine, but... Oh, I just wish there was something practical I could do to help them, Caroline. I, mean, I think the Archers has had this immense popularity over the years. Um, basically because it has always very accurately reflected the reality of life and living in a rural community at whatever